There's finally life in the reef tank. Stay tuned and I'll tell you about it. Hey YouTube, Brian here, coming at you again with another video on uh, my reef tank. This is going to be episode two of the series on my reef tank. And I've got uh, some livestock in the tank now, so I thought I would uh, do a quick video and show you. Uh, before I do that, um, you'll notice that there is a ton of diatom algae um, in the tank right now, and that's by design. Um, I, uh, the, the tank finally cycled here about a week and a half ago. So it was about a 25 day cycle. And so the next thing I wanted to do after that was uh, um, start growing diatom algae so that I could eventually get a cleanup crew and that they would have something to eat when, when they arrived. And that's what I've done. Um, so today the cleanup crew arrived and they're already munching on things. But before I talk about the cleanup crew, I wanna show you the first uh, fish that I got. Um, if you follow me on Facebook, um, in the aquatic support community group you may have seen, or on Instagram too, I put up a quick video of the two clownfish I got. These are Ocellaris clownfish. Really happy with them so far. They're uh, really uh, happy and healthy. Um, got them at a local uh, fish store um, that specializes in, uh, in uh, just reef tanks. Uh, they don't do any fresh water. So pretty happy with them. I'll be adding some more fish probably within the next week to two weeks. I've got some ideas on what I want, but uh, not 100% sure yet. Um, sorry I can't get a real good uh, close-up of these. The, the algae on the glass is kind of blocking out the shot. But. So like I said at the beginning of the video, I uh, got my cleanup crew today. They've literally only been in the tank probably 15 minutes after I got them acclimated. And uh, you can already see some movement uh, with some of the uh, hermit crabs. Kind of cool to watch these guys move around. Um, one of the nearite snails is already up on the glass. I'm not sure what this is, but it's already made its way up onto the rocks. But yeah, there's quite a variety of stuff. Some things are coming to life already and moving around, other things not so much, but that's to be expected. What I did is I ordered this cleanup crew through reefcleaners.com and um, they've got some really nice packages that you can order um, depending on your tank size. Uh, pretty easy, pretty slick. You don't have to go through and put it together yourself. Um, I ordered the 30 gallon, uh, what's called the quick crew with hermit crabs. <clears throat> And what that got me was uh, um, six, uh, six uh, assorted hermit crabs, um, 28 dwarf seraphs, 10 nesir, I don't even know how to pronounce it, but uh, um, it's a scavenger um, that eats like leftover food, uh, nesarius, nesarius. Um, I got 10 Florida seraphs and eight nearites with the package. So quite a bit of stuff at, at a decent price. Um, they ship overnight. Um, my, my package arrived at like 10, 10 30, um, the next, uh, the next day. So that was pretty cool. So pretty happy that I've got, uh, livestock in here that the tank cycled well. Um, I expect, uh, the diatom algae, uh, to, uh, uh to be taken care of re relatively quickly with the clean up, clean up crew that I've got here. Um, so that'll be good to, to see that. What I also did too, um, the same day that I purchased these two fish, I've had these fish for a week and a half, I can't remember if I said that already, but I um, I got um, like five or six uh, empty snail shells um, from the same fish store that had uh, purple coralline algae on it too, so that that'll um, start to spread around and I can start growing my coralline algae. Because again, um, if you saw my first video, you know that the rocks I got um, were not live rock. I decided to go with dry rock, um, a Key Largo rock, uh, so that I didn't bring in any pests or unwanted things uh, that you typically would get with, with uh, live rock. So. So I will be growing coralline algae in here. It'll take some time, but uh, hopefully that process is uh, going to be beginning soon, and uh, we'll see the progress on that too. Other than that, uh, kind of a real quick update. I'll, I, I'm going to hope to have some more updates here 
uh, in the near future for you. Um, speaking of algae too, one other quick thing that I'll show you a product that I purchased uh, recently um, is the uh, the Nano, um, the Tunes uh, Nano uh, Scraper, I guess you'd call it. Um, really, really um, happy with these. I bought one before I got the reef tank. I'm trying to get out the, the box here out of underneath um, so I can show you. Uh, the Tunes Care Magnet Nano, uh, so it's a small one. But um, it's got a powerful magnet and it does a real good job. I haven't been cleaning my glass just because I wanted the uh, diatoms to grow on it. But anyway, um, I had bought previously one of these, uh, the, the large one for uh, my freshwater tanks and it's done a real good job. So decided I'd get this uh, too. So if you're looking for a good magnet cleaner, um, I, I could highly recommend this one uh, to you. Again, it's the Tunes. Um, here's the box. Um, a lot of, I got mine on Amazon, you can get them at uh, Bulk Reef Supply, I think, uh, Marine Depot, places like that. So, Anyway guys, thanks for watching as always, and uh, make sure that you do go check out Aquatic Support Community on Facebook. Um, join that group, uh, show us your tanks, uh, let's talk about fish. Um, go over to the Aquatic Support Systems business page and give that a like, and then make sure that you uh, subscribe to all the members of Team Aquatic Support. Their YouTube channel links will be uh, at the bottom. Thanks a lot.